Live from Cleveland, this is Progressive Field. MLB The Show has action out of the AL Central. It's the Minnesota Twins taking on the Cleveland Guardians. All right, now, we'll be back to get this one started after this. 2022 Cleveland Guardians. So almost ready to get underway and on the hill in this one, Cal Quantrill. Chris, how about a scouting report? Well, that whip is just below the league average, and that's a good thing in this case, not allowing too many base runners. So on most days, he's going to go out there and compete and put his team in a position to win, and I expect to see that from him in this one today. All right, ready to get underway. Now it's the Twins DH, Luis Arias. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. So a runner aboard to start the inning. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Here's Carlos Correa. Quattro back to work. Hey. That's step one and two. On the ground right side four six three and they turn the double play Having first, the first baseman Jose Miranda so up next for Minnesota Jose Miranda no score just getting started top of the first bounce to the right side Jimenez throw He's to first out. third out and that ends the frame Twins don't score Guardians coming to bat Major League Baseball is on the show Bottom of the first and on the mound today Sonny Gray tell us about him in that sub three ERA singing his career ERA has been under four. What I like most about him is his reliability. Takes the ball every fifth day, ready to go whenever the manager calls. Bottom of the first, here's the left fielder, number 38. Strike two. Two balls, two strikes. Left hand batter waits. Line drive. And now maybe extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in. And he's out trying for two. Batting second. Not shortstop. Amen. And now it's Ahmed Rosario. Here's a 1-1. Slow roll into first. Pitcher gets to the bag for the out. That is good. Here's the Guardians the lineup now. Okay. Singing, we're looking at a really young lineup well, here, so man. not much experience, but it also means they're going to bring a lot of energy to the table most days. Well, we're in a golden age of young players. I mean, these players, they're getting up to the majors. They're dominating from a young age, bringing home plenty of hardware early in their careers. I mean, before they even get to free agency. So, you know, when you consider all of that, I love seeing the kind of energy that a team like this brings to the yard every day, day in and day out. Yeah, the right hater deals. That one to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Guardians turned away in the first. We played one in Cleveland with no score on the show. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the second baseman, Nick Gordon. Quadro back to work. And that one popped to short. 
Makes the catch. And there's one down. Batting fifth, the third baseman, Gio Urshela. Gio Urshela steps in. One down, base is empty. Out to short, and a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Batting fifth. Here's the, the center, center fielder, fielder. Gilberto, Gilberto Celestino. Celestino. Swing and a ball popped up. That's a base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Batting seven. The Two on, one out. Eight. Now the left fielder, eight. Jake Kane. The pitch. On the ground, a second might be two. Rosario one. Their second double play already. This one ends the second inning. Pitcher made the pitch, and his players made the play behind him. Nice job. 4 6 3 inning ending double play. Back here in Cleveland, we head to the bottom of the second, and here's the first baseman, Josh Naylor. This one popped up. That one gets down for a hit. Around first and hustling for second. The throw in, not in time. That's a leadoff double. Now it's the right fielder, Oscar Gonzalez. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Oh, well, that's that slurve right there. He threw it extremely well. You talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. That one down the line, and that's just foul. Next offering misses, and that's ball two. Runner leads away at second. Swing and a ground ball off the middle. That's a base hit. Right past his coach, headed for the plate. Now a long throw home. The tag out. Well, I can understand how they want to be aggressive against this guy. Try to get those runs early because if you don't, you may not get them later on. But you just have to do a better job of picking your spots. Outstanding job by the defense. They know who's on the ball for them. If they can get the outs defensively, they're going to move through this game pretty well. Into center and a base hit. Celestino to third, and he's out. Hey, as a former center fielder, I'm feeling pretty good right now. That's an excellent job by this guy to come up throwing and deliver a strike to third base. Now, for the offense, that's a tough one to swallow because you never want to lose a runner in scoring position by making it out at third base. Here's Tyler Freeman to hit. 2-1 two now. And now 2-2. Two and two. pitch stays alive well the hitter's got his timing down for the breaking ball if you're a pitcher if you can get that fastball in on the hands it's going to be very difficult for that hitter to get the barrel to it second inning here no score swings and misses and that is that guardians leave one 
We'll move to the third with no score. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. This is Billy Hamilton. And here it comes. That one missing no inside. Slice to right. Dives. What a play. This dive wasn't the result of a bad route, Singy. The only reason he made the play is because his route was so good. No doubt, Boog. StatCast tells the same story. I mean, he got to a spot as quickly as you can possibly get there, and he had to in order to have a chance at that diving play. Just special. Here's Sandy Leon. Ground ball up the middle. Toss to Naylor. And a couple of quick outs. Now batting, designated hitter, Luis Arias. Back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. Luis Arias stands in. Picked up a base hit to center his first time up. Top of the third, no score. Ball the next two. pitch misses, and yeah, that's ball two. We got two balls, one strike. Left-hand hitter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. And he pulls up on it, and that's a hit. The battle, number four. Shortstop. And here comes Carlos Correa. Struggling on the road this season, better results at home. Arise. The runner at first with two gone. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle to base hit. So that's two straight two out hits. And the throws offline safe at third. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game so two outs with runners on the corners jose miranda the next one. twin up to hit one strike. he swings and fouls one off the pitch foul ball and that one in the air center field straw on his way over and that is the third out of the inning twin strand a pair and we're still knotted at zero Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Luke Maley. And the righty deals. And one and two. Kicks and fires. Ground ball to the right side. Gordon collects it. Gets it to first. One up, one down. Batting ninth, the center fielder, Miles Straw. Miles Straw digs in for the Guardians. Two-two. 
That's out to center field. Celestino ranging back. Racing makes the catch. And there's two down. Now batting. Number 38. Number 38 digs in for the Guardians. Left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. Guardians go down one, two, three. And we are still scoreless. And welcome back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, Nick Gordon. field Gonzalez sizes this one up makes the grab one away now batting the third baseman Gio Urshela Gio Urshela the next to hit one for one with a single so far and a pitch that one hit to right Gonzalez settles under it, snags it for the second out. Up next for Minnesota, the center fielder, Gilberto. Two outs, space is empty. And now the center fielder, Gilberto Celestino. Really good piece of hitting last time, going to the opposite field. The pitch. And now it's even up. This guy's got two such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Next Three offering two. is downstairs. Two outs. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Twins retired in short order. Still no score. Bottom four, stepping up for the Guardians, Ahmed Rosario. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. 2-1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. And it's filled up. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Righty delivers. And that one fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Out to short. On the run, throw to first. One out in the bottom of the fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping now the ball back. out of the air. Lets hitter. the defense work behind okay. him with another ground ball. Good Rob execution. Mirad. Here's Jose Ramirez. The 3 1. And that one wrapped foul. And he deals. Hit hard. That gets through. All over that one right there. Everyone's trying Not to elevate the ball in today's Number game, 22. but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. One gone runner at first. Here's Josh Naylor. And a pitch. And that one just missed off the outside edge. The 
the 2 1. Hard hit, right side. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Gordon with the toss to first. Just got him on that one. Now back, the right fielder, Oscar Gonzalez. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Oscar Gonzalez. Right-hander kicks, deals. It's softly on the ground, left side. Now the throw to first on the run. That's the inning. One left for the Guardians, and we're still knotted at zero. Back here at the ballpark, ready now for the fifth inning. Here's Jake Cave now. The 1 1. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Naylor makes the catch, and there's one away. Well, on the mound, very efficient, the able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within really the third or fourth pitch of been. just about every at bat. And now for the Twins, Billy Hamilton. the ground to first and the first two set down in the top of the fifth the catcher number 39 Sandy Leon two outs space is empty and now the twins catcher Sandy Leon over one so far the one one eight two Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Got him. Inning over on the strikeout. Halfway through this one, still no score. Back now at Progressive Field. Here's Andres Jimenez. And a payoff pitch. Now a screamer into the outfield. Makes the grab one away. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself baseman, it's about the process. He did everything Tyler. right right there. Nothing to show Tyler. for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. So in now for Cleveland, Tyler Freeman. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. And there's two away. Up next for Cleveland, the catcher, Luke Maley. And next is the Guardians catcher, Luke Maley. Grounded out his first time. Two and one now. And fouled off. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And there's a foul ball. Here's the 2-2. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Nothing doing for the Guardians there, and we are still scoreless.
here in Cleveland. Now it's the DH, Luis Arias. The two on. Up the middle, and it gets by him. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. So impressive that he didn't get tied up or jammed on that pitch inside. Instead, good quick hands allowed him to get the barrel to it, just shoot it up the middle of the field for that knock. Now Correa up to hit. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. Got him. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. The first baseman, Jose Miranda. And next for Minnesota, Jose Miranda. So clutch. You could argue that he's been this team's MVP this year. All in this count, runner. Not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. Kicks and deals. To short, could be two. To Jimenez. And it's a double play to end the inning. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. Back here in Cleveland, bottom of the six. Here's a speed threat, Miles Straw. And a 1 1. That's Just ball. missed. Two balls, one strike. pitch and a swing and a miss and there's one down no there's a small sigh of relief right there I mean just to keep that speed off now the base pass it's not just the pitcher years. it's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders have to think about that runner potentially stealing but also be in position to make a play as an outfielder you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base so I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. And now number 38 can't glove it cleanly. He's in there. Well, it looked like a pretty routine play. Just couldn't get it to stick in the glove as he gets tagged with the error. Should have been two outs in the inning, but now they have to work around it and get two more. And up next for Cleveland, Ahmed Rosario. <whistles> Sonny Gray checks on the he's runner, there. and he's back in easily. The 1-1. One, one. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Strike in there. Leon, great throw. Caught stealing. Well, I really didn't expect him to try to steal second base because he had a very standard lead at best. If you're going to try to get there safely, you've got to get more on that lead. You've got to get a better jump. That was the difference between being safe and out. The pitch. That's outside. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And that is that. And welcome back. New inning getting started. Now the cleanup hitter for Minnesota, Nick Gordon. 
Left hand batter waits. This to center field. Strong has a beat on it. One down. Now batting. Third baseman. Gio Urshela. Here's Gio Urshela. One for two. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Rosario tosses the first. And two away to start the seven. Now batting. The center fielder. Gilberto Celestino. Gilberto Celestino. Now at the plate. Lined, and that's a base hit. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, eight. and so could every hitting coach eight. in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Jake Cave getting ready to hit. And the right hander deals. And a foul ball. Two gone. The possible go ahead run at first. And down on strikes. And that's the third out. Twins wind up stranding one. Still no score. Seventh inning stretch. Welcome back. Now it's Jose Ramirez. He's a big, strong guy. Can untie this game with one swing. The why to kick the pitch. So now one and two. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Next pitch misses way outside. The pitch. On the ground, right side. The throw to first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. The first baseman, number 22. Josh Naylor. And now it's Josh Naylor. The pitch. Fought off foul. Center field. Puts it away for the out. Now batting. The right fielder. Oscar Gonzalez. Now it's going to be Oscar Gonzalez. Feels like it's less common today that you see a guy like this. The speed component, the contact component, but lack of power. That's the third, and it gets by him. Now, now Andres Jimenez, good contact guy, good defender, stays alive. Bounced out to short. Correa picks it up. They take the force out, and the inning is over. Eighth inning coming up, and we still have no score. We're at the top of the eighth, and now for the Twins, Billy Hamilton. 
trying to keep good speed off the bases. And a pitch. And a bunt towards third. Not in time. Great effort there, but now the go-ahead run is on at first. Maybe a little small ball is exactly what the doctor ordered to rev up this offense, and they've been pretty quiet all game, so maybe this wakes them up a bit and helps them get on the board. Manager out of the dugout now, and he will make a move to dip into the Guardians bullpen. That's it for Cal Quantrill, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, Carlos Vargas. And this is his season debut. Carlos Vargas. Go ahead, run on base. Sandy Leon, the next twin up to hit. Pick off you for first. Hey, Hamilton dives back in. He's going, he's Hamilton going, he's going. takes off. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Great jump. And that is a stolen base. It wasn't even close. Well, he picked over once just before the pitch to check on him, but that didn't seem to slow up his jump on the pitch at all. I think that guy's been studying some video. Awesome job to be prepared. Got the timing down, and he gets into scoring position. Strike three. Got him swinging. First out in the top of the eighth. Back to the top of the lineup. Next is the designated hitter, Luis Arias. Known for his late-inning heroics. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. Line drive. And he takes it himself for the out. Carlos Correa, the next twin up to hit. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. One and two here. <laughs> Movement in the pen for the Guardians. Nick Sandlin getting ready to go. Henches getting cranked up as well. The 2-2 two -two now. Hammer could be extra bases. In comes the runner from third, and it's 1-0. Pulls into second. That's an RBI double. Picks himself up an RBI. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced, and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. And it's second here with two away. And now the first baseman, Jose Miranda. Here's a one-two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Good job at damage control right there. And the Twins plate one on the double. It's now one-nothing. A new arm into the game, the righty, Johan Duran. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Well, one-run game, stepping up for the Guardians, Tyler Freeman. Well, these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. And here it comes. That one misses, and that's ball three. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. That one lifted to left. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track.
Now batting, catcher, Luke Maley. Here's the catcher, Luke Maley. And strike two. Two and two. The tying run at the plate. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And a pitch. Stays alive. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. And a swing and a miss. Out. Number two. I always see it more commonly in the sport these days, but man, a triple digit fastball blown right by someone is still pretty awesome to witness. I mean, you got to be geared up and ready to swing it when a guy like this comes out of the bullpen because that fastball, it eats, and if you're not ready, you're going to be walking back to the dugout. So they're making a move for a bat off the bench. Owen Miller looking for a two out spark with the bases empty. Here's a 1 1. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And that ends the inning. The Guardians go down in order. They're down 1-0. Richie Palacios into the game as a defensive sub now, and he'll take over in center. Number nine. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now it's the second baseman, Nick Gordon. You get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Swing and a slow roller. On to first, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Up next to the Twins, the third baseman, Gio Urshela. Gio Urshela, the next twin up to hit. One for three. The wind and the pitch. That one ripped. He dives but can't hang on. That's a base hit. Gonzalez throws to second, and he'll reach second with one away. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. One out, runner at second. Gilberto Celestino, the next twin up to hit. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two the strikes, field, slider down and away from a Jake. same side thrower Jake. as the hitter. I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. Here's the left fielder, Jake Cave. At the belt and fires. On the ground, right side. Whips it to first. And that is that. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order, Dua. It's the Twins one and the Guardians nothing. Back now and on the mound, the closer, Jorge Lopez. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. So the batting order turns over. Here's the Cleveland leadoff hitter, number 38. One run game, bottom nine. On the ground to third, and he grabs it in foul ground. Looking to get the tying run on base. 
And that one fouled off. And a base hit right there. And that puts the tying run on base. No, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Certainly a pivotal swing of the bat in this ball game. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Ahmed Rosario digs in for the Guardians. All season long, he's racked up a number of saves and sometimes the adrenaline doesn't get high enough until there's a runner or two on base. And he chases that one. One out, bottom of the ninth. The now it's the Guardians' the DH, Jose Ramirez. Oh, if you don't get Ramirez. ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Right-handed reliever. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base try to stay out of a double play here the three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four the outside of the bullpen can absolutely kill your momentum very quickly they're in some hot water trying to protect this lead josh naylor digs in for the guardians left hand hitter waits foul ball there He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. So now with one swing, this guy could end it. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball, but he's going to have to stay ready for a fastball. Don't want to watch one go right by you. Out towards left center. That one back. And it's off the top of the wall. Runner around third and to score. Correa with a relay throw. In comes the winning run. And the Guardians walk it off for the win. In this situation, this guy's looking to put the ball in play and find a hole somewhere. Well, he did exactly that. Drives into a very cool walk-off win. And your final score here today, 2-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chambi saying so long.